What is up guys, today we're going to be talking about the blueprint system and the components and how much you actually get for each individual component because obviously everything costs scrap metal now and yeah, that's pretty much the life source of this whole game now and is the new meta. So yeah, today I'm basically just going to be showing you each scrap value for every item that you put in the recycler and I'll talk a little bit about my opinion on the new blueprint system and everything else after I've showed you all the values, but for those of you who are just here for the values, just stick around for this first segment of the video and afterwards, yeah, do whatever, man. <laughs> anyway, guys, enjoy the video. So, first of all, we have the metal pipe. Uh, stick this bad boy in the machine. And... As you can see, we get five scrap metal and one high quality metal. And I also did a little bit of testing before this, just to make sure that all the results for each individual component were consistent, and it turns out they are. They're not like the guns where you throw them in there and you get random results every time. So don't worry about consistency guys, this is always going to be the same no matter what you do. Anyway, moving on. Next up we have the metal blade. I'm just going to skip the little animations for the recycler actually work and I'm just go straight to the supplies, just to, you know, save you some time in this video. From this you will get 2 scrap metal and 15 metal fragments. Not bad if you have a bunch of them. Next up we have gears. From these you will get 10 scrap metal and 13 metal fragments. And they are pretty useless now since ladder hatches are so rare. So yeah, scrap away boys if you don't know how to research that. Next up is the propane tank. Uh, you'd think by the size of this thing it would give you quite a bit, but it doesn't. <laughs> Unfortunately it only gives you 1 scrap metal and 50 metal fragments. So there you go. Next up we have springs. Um, I know most of you will be like, oh no, the springs, the springs, oh no, we can't get rid of the springs, we need them for guns. Well, unfortunately, if you can't craft the guns, what's the point? <laughs> so from this, you'll get 10 scrap metal and 1 high quality metal. So yeah, you don't have to do this if you don't want to, but it's always an option. So next we have the sheet metal. Um, this is probably the best one out of all the components, like supplies wise. Um, from this, you'll get 8 scrap metal, 100 metal fragments and 1 high quality metal. So yeah, collect these guys, they're pretty good. Next is a sewing kit, and for those of you who don't know, you actually don't get any scrap metal from these, um, just 10 cloth and 2 rope. So yeah, no scrap metal today guys, however if you're short on cloth, go crazy. Next up we have the semi-auto body, from this you'll get 15 scrap metal, 2 high quality metal and 75 metal fragments. Next up we have rope, and from this you will get 15 cloth and 15 cloth only. No scrap metal, unfortunately. <laughs> this leads us on to Tech Trash. Um, from this, you will get 20 scrap metal and 1 high quality metal. Next, we have the Rifle Body. Um, from this, you will get 25 scrap metal and 2 high quality metal. Next is the Road Sign. From this bad boy, you will get 5 scrap metal and 1 high quality metal. Next, we have Tarp. Uh, once again, no metal, but a whopping 50 cloth. Uh, next up we have the custom SMG body, this will give you 15 scrap metal and 2 high quality metal. And last but not least we have the Pookie Bear, and this will give you a whopping 5,000 scrap metal. Just kidding. <laughs> that has been the whole list guys, um, I'm just going to quickly show you guys a picture of all the items we've just deconstructed, so if you want to ever refer back to this video then just come back and I'll put a little timestamp in the video so that you can click to this bit and yeah you can use that as a reference to know how much each individual component is going to give you okay so now my thoughts on the current blueprint system in its current state um, I like it and I don't like it I think you should be able to get blueprints randomly from barrels like you could in the old system because you know it creates a bit of randomness and a bit of excitement when you actually go out to hit those barrels I think finding the items from the boxes in the rad towns itself is just a bit mundane and boring because you know exactly where to go to get those items. I think if you're hitting barrels around the world itself and you've got a random chance of getting a rocket or you've got a random chance of getting an AK out of that creates a little bit more of a, I don't know, like a gambling aspect slash luck aspect. Like I'm not saying make the rad town loot, you know, the same as the barrel loot, but like, there should be a chance to find, like, uh, a rocket or an AK in a barrel. Um, it shouldn't just be locked to the rad town, in my opinion. It should be, like, a random luck chance. Like, I'm not saying, oh yeah, just make it so that everything's the same between rad towns and barrels. I think if you go to the rad town, you should get rewarded for risking it. But, um, there should be, like, 
I don't know, maybe a 5% chance of maybe finding something in the barrels around the world. Uh, that's like one of the tweaks I think that should be made. Um, but yeah. As for the scrap, um, I think the level 3 workbench definitely needs a decrease in price because that is ridiculous. 1000 scrap is just like so hard to get and you know it takes so long to actually go out and farm. I can see people want the early game but I don't know, it, it's kind of like a thousand scrap is just so much man. Or at least increase the amount of scrap that you get from certain items, um, like certain components sorry. You know change the values or some shit like that. Maybe that would you know make 1000 scraps not look so daunting and you know like you've got to spend a similar amount of stuff to get an AK and metal armor and stuff like that it's just the prices are crazy they need a little bit of balancing but yeah that's my opinions on the blueprint system guys um, I hope you've all enjoyed this video and yeah I'll see you all next time <laughs> peace guys